Okay, so hi everyone and welcome back. So I'm afraid I did miss last week's stream. I do apologise. However, I've done a lot of scenery for today's episode. This is what we have so far. So I'm not sure how much I showed in the last episode. But for this bit, I just added a bunch of trees because I wasn't too sure what to add. Again, we have the station on this one. I added more trees over here just to bring these rings up because no one was coming here. Now, I'm assuming these are all priority pass people because they're not going down there. I think I think that families use priority pass more than individuals because that's all that seems to be here. Um, I don't think there's any priority pass on this one because we couldn't get it in. Yeah, we couldn't get it in because of how... Well, I could have gone around still. Um, Zozo, always busy as always. And then the most scenery I've done is on the cat ride, so we'll get to that last. I added a little picnic area here. Um, it's not the best, but again, not the best builder. I do like these lights, so that I did. So that's something at least. Now, moving on, I did finish off all the lighting. I'll show the lighting off in the dark in just a second. I had a few dragons, because obviously this is our fairy tale land. Um, add a few hay bales for them to eat, and then we've got this just still going up and down. Now, the scenery rating on this is 100%. That's mainly because of these two buildings here, which I didn't build. Now, the station on the wooden hybrid coaster, or the RMC, whatever you want to call it. Now, this is okay. Like, I mean, this is probably as good as my builds are going to get, so be prepared for that. Now this ride does still need a name, so if you want to name it in the comments, if you have an idea, that'd be great. If not, that's totally fine. And then we added two more dragons, just to keep the theme of having a load of dragons everywhere. Uh, I added a little bit here. I've not really done much to this one. I've just added more preset builds because I still need to figure out what I want to build on the station, um, especially because it's a bit higher up. Um, I added a few... ATMs. This was also already pre-made, so not my doing. And then again, I've just added a few more things around here. Now this ride, it's not a lot, but it took me ages to make. So I've made, oh, let's get out of these trees. So I've done all this by myself, which I'm quite impressed with because I am awful, absolutely awful at making scenery. So we will ride the ride which will probably help explain it more. Now this building is a bit of an awkward shape, but it's fine. Now we're going to ride this ride during the day and during the night, because I feel like it gives a different atmosphere. Um, we have a few cheese scratched around with some lanterns, which took ages to make sure it was all level and connecting each other. Um, but yeah, the queue for this is constantly huge. Like, it's wild to me. So let's pause the game. Try and so this is a nice train for us. So we'll get going. It's taking off straight away, which is perfect. So I've added a few little bits and bobs. There's a few animals as you can see, because I wasn't really sure what to add into this nice little spirally area that goes up to the top of the tower. Which I thought having this in a spiral would be a lot better to hide it away a bit more easier. Now I added a tower with a witch on top just to give it a bit more fancy vibes. Um, you do go through a few trees, but that's fine. We don't really follow safety. Then again, it's just a quick ride, so we'll swoop down, circle around the sword in the stone, which again, I'll put another witch just to circle around. So it's like they're guarding the stone, or the sword in the stone. Then after that, we start to make our way back through the station and then into our Topia, I think that's what they are. Probably not. Um, garden, which is just a little covered up from the queue so that you can't see either. Now, that's it for this ride. So, I'm going to change to night time and we'll just speed up a little bit just so that we can get through. And we're off again for ride two. Now, this one is with all the lighting, so it might be a bit better. Um, you can see there's a few scorpions on the floor there. Uh, I tried to make it a bit eerie, but also 
still magical to the kids. Now, the Bagpuss does still have blinding red eyes, so there's always that. Now, I've had a little pink and a little orange to the top of the tower, and then there's some greens just to highlight edges of the trees. So we'll come through. And then this bit, I'd, I went for some reds and purples, and then there's a few bits of green just below around the edge, just to give that little bit of pop of colour. I think there's some teal in there as well. And then again, we go through the building, and then we'll go into the garden. And that's basically it for this ride. So the garden, I don't know how to fully add a bit of lighting because of how the lighting was it was a bit weird so we just had a few pinks and then we're straight back into the station now as you can see there's a lot more lighting across here now this one still needs to be finished off and so does the RMC like I tried to add a few bits like there's some greens and reds here but in certain areas like on this drop it was quite hard to light parts of it up Especially here, because I like to hide them, but honestly, you can't really hide them. Uh, I might be able to figure something out for this. But again, that would just be putting some trees down and then hiding them in the trees. Now, in the station, I went for like a nice little rainbow vibe. Um, let's have a look. So, I quite like what I did here. Uh, I hate the camera, so I apologise. But this is what I mean with how the yellow one kind of blends when it's in the middle. So it's quite nice, and of course, we've got to go for Pride. It's LGBTQ plus History Month of February, so I thought, why not bring a little bit of that into the game as much as I can, because obviously there's not too much you can do in terms of Pride within this game. But a little rainbow here and there never hurt anybody. A few moments later. Is that going to bug me? Probably. This is the ugliest thing I've ever done in my life. But again... It'll have to do, I'm afraid. Um, we'll get rid of that one. We'll get rid of that one. And then we'll put some toilets and more things on the sides. Now, we'll of course get some more water because water's great for them. Now, I'm not sure what food I haven't added. I don't think I've added pizza. So we'll add the pizza and hope that they enjoy it. Okay, did that connect? Yes. Perfecto. We'll of course have to get a toilet in. Not sink it down, pressing all the wrong keys here. We shall get a lovely ATM because more money the better isn't it? I had it the wrong way and we'll stick that for now we'll throw in some benches and stuff and then so we shall if it loads get some more benches because oops a little bench I will be throwing another station here as well. And we'll get one here. Ooh, this looks a bit messy. Yeah, I tried to make it less um, inappropriate. I like I really wanted three circles, but I only decided that last minute. It'll be fine. I can't tell. Uh, I'm glad you're alright though, and I'm glad you said that word instead of the inappropriate version of that word, so that's fab. Um, we'll get some more bins as well. I will do some scenery on here, of course, eventually. And we'll throw some bins here because I've seen them litter all the time and it's not fun. Now we need to figure out where we want the station. So the station's here. I feel like that's quite a long 
time. So maybe have right repose. So we're all right to do this. We're going to have to shut that down and edit. This is going to really be bad for customers, but it'll be fine. Oh, I actually hate this so much. There we go. I'm going to have that come in. Are you okay? Oh, there we go. Just a bit of lag, of course. Now, I think I want it in this corner when I can straighten it out. Ooh, maybe I should have been going down here. There we go. Now, yeah, that's straight. No bubbly. Um, oh, I never know which way they come on and off. I think it might be this way. No, it's not. It's this way. I think, potentially. We can hope. And then, auto complete, hopefully. Now, that's a bit too extreme. Please tell me it's not going to do that. What is it doing? It literally just needed to go like there, but for some reason it's. Yeah, I don't know what autocomplete's doing. We'll just watch it struggle. Now, this is going to be a, a wild part for the monorail if this actually works, but it's kind of sad watching it struggle like this. Okay. Beautiful. Perfect. It's a cool design, like, but not what? Like, why couldn't they just have gone like that? Like, there was just no need. Well, there you go. There's something. All right. Now, we'll do it properly. Now, how high do we need to go? 15 meters. So about there. That's 16, but that's fine. Now, I'll try not to complete it. Perfect. That's all you need to do. Okay, so we've done that. We can add three chains. Um, not three. Oh, no, we'll stick to three. And we'll open them all back up. Is that all of them? Yeah, it must be. Let's just double check. Uh, apart from this one, which is oh, of course, Lewis, of course. That's quite a short. Jump, oh, that should be fine. Go to here, exit here. Not that, I want this. Is that a nice bit? Oh, got a pigeon midway. What paths are we using? We are using these. There we go, simple. It's always a cue that is harder. Now we need to figure out a nice queue to have. What does this one look like? Oh, that's ugly. We'll not have that. We'll go for orange. Orange is like a nice, bright, sci-fi colour, I guess you could say. And we'll select the grid, of course, as we always do. Now, I don't think a lot of people will be using this one, but then again, I didn't think a lot of people would use the other one. So, we'll have to see. I am going to do a dreaded cattle pen. And then we shall just have it nicely attached. Perfect. Now, hopefully... It's not too bad for them. 
Now, I never went on Logger's Leap, but I do miss the one from Mount Towers. I think, I don't I, I forgot the name, but honestly, my favourite ride, and they just got rid of it. I know Wickman's good and all, but it doesn't beat a log flume, I'm afraid. And that poor duck, the godforsaken beautiful duck. Yeah, I thought it was just called the log flume. Now, I'm not sure where to have this. I might have it here. Now, this is going to need a lot of scenery. So, hopefully, we'll be fine. I feel like it's going to have a big queue as well. Now, I do want to go underground for this one. Which is wild of me, I know. But, I feel like it'd be fun. And then auto tunnel and now why can't I build there? But I can build there. I just can't do that. Okay. We'll go in a straight line. I'm not actually sure where I want this to lead. I am gonna need to do a lot of lighting. Now, oh, the lighting on this is going to be horrendous, getting that to hold, but it's fine. We'll get this up as soon as we can. I might have it go this way. Nice straight bit, as small as possible, and then we shall start going up again. Emerging from the ground, I'll try and make that a bit prettier. Now, in this game, for some reason, as long as you have, oh, I always do that, the chain lift as high as you can. As soon as you come over this, they get so excited coming over this bit. I have no idea why, but they always do. Just a nice casual bit of whatever you want to call it, really. Now we'll get rid of that auto tunnel, because we don't want that for later on. We will spin around here. No, I'm not really sure how I'm going to do much scenery for this. Log flumes aren't my specialty, as much as I love them. We'll do a nice little hill time moment. Um, that was a joke. A bit higher, I don't know how high, but we'll go 35, 37. That's fine. I don't know how big log flumes like maxes are, which is so I don't know if this is going to be good or not. We'll see, shan't we? We'll have a nice little wiggly wiggly. Now, where do I want the drop? I feel like the drop should come something like here. So if I angle this down a little, we'll make it flat. You know, I don't want it that much. There we go. Oh, you knew it was going to happen. We got clickbaited. Okay, is that flat? Yeah. I don't know. I think the part of a log flume that I love the most is just how long the ride actually is. Because a long ride is just great and I feel like I've not queued for nothing. I feel like it's been worth it. Which is always nice. Um, I do want a nice splash bit. But I feel like that's perfect, isn't it? Is that going to be alright? No, it's not. No, we, we want the splash. Okay, there we go. Would you say that's enough? Yeah. And then it can get everyone that's here. I feel like if you have the splash behind, I know it's not as fun, 
but then as you queue and you can see them get a nice splashback to be cute as cute as it can be anyway and then we'll just go straight back to the station because this ride's probably already been long enough yeah big sploosh i don't know how fast that will be it's at 31 meters which is i don't know how high that is but it's 31 meters high now i want to try and get rid of some of these supports just because they're a bit annoying uh we'll go for like that yeah that's all right, so four on each. Yeah. Okay. So we did it. Um, we'll add the queue and everything, and then we'll test it. We'll ride it. Obviously, it will be better when there's actual scenery. Now that's extremely long, so that should be fine. It's better to have it too long than too short. Now, I'm not sure how many rafts we'll have. We'll probably stick to six. Ooh, maybe not. It's quite short. We'll stick to four. We'll go five. As you can tell, I'm not very confident in any of my actions. Place the entrance here. And the exit here. Of course, we'll stick to our nice little black and that's sort ugly. Of black and green and we shall test it and give it a little ride All right hope you're ready hope you're ready for a massive splash now I'm gonna hope if I press L yes so now I have a light so this will just help for when we uh, go down into that tunnel Oh, it's very cold in my room, I will say. Now, if you like log flumes or if you like any type of water ride, you can leave a comment below. That's either if you're watching the stream or afterwards. So we're going to make our first drop, which I think, yeah, it's a nice, simple drop, not too much, just to whip you about a bit. There's nothing wrong with being underground as well. Now, this is what it'd be like without the light, so it's probably best to leave it on so this is at 40 miles an hour which for some reason makes people so happy going over this right if I can right look at that nine point whatever it was just for going over the chains which is wild to me but usually yeah this will stick to a steady four 4.3 um, so with these rides like track rides although they've got low ratings they do really well I'm not sure what it is about them but again I can't really say much because I like a track ride um, obviously not as intense as a roller coaster but it's fine now now I'm looking at this this might be a bit too much of a stretch for me to have done to go down and then be taken by that but yeah. oh, so it jumps to a nice 5.9 I'd say and then just straight up to nearly a 10 on that score now this is a bit that I'm looking forward to is how long or sorry how fast are we going to go on this drop I want to say like 40 miles an hour maybe but we shall see so it's not this one it'll be the next one I think it was at like 31 meters high um, not many G's. Oh, we hit one G there, so that's great. On both the lateral and vertical. Always a good sign. 50. So no fix 50, I think 40. So we shall see. We shall see. Now, I am only going to be streaming for an hour, so that will save you all from listening to me. Okay, so... 40. Now that was exactly 50, which is annoying. So 
I know Nathan's going to be smug about that. But that's it for this ride, basically. So we'll come out of that. I think I'm going to end it here. So, well, yeah, I will be streaming again next Friday if you can. Hopefully, I'll be streaming every Friday. Um, I've got a few uni deadlines, so videos are a bit scattered about, or if there's not many videos, especially on the cooking side, I do apologise. I will get some out as quickly as I can. Right, so with that, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.